Here are your names. Mr. Brown. Mr. White. Mr. Bland. Mr. Blue. Mr. Orange. And Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Because you're a faggot, all right? Jesus Christ, Joe. Fucking forget about it. It's beneath me, you know? I'm Mr. Pink. Let's move on. I'm so goddamn mad hollering at you guys, I can hardly talk. Let's go to work. We meet back here in an hour for your training. Try out the guns, knock yourself out. I gotta take a piss. I ain't taking you on this caper unless you can prove to me that you can handle yourself in unexpected circumstances. Okay, kid. Now look, you're on your own on this one. You need to get from here to over there, and we're gonna try and stop you. You need to stay low. Crouch down if necessary. It'll make you a smaller target. If you're so inclined, you can try out some of that commando shit. Cops are easily confused if you're rolling about. Most importantly, get yourself in cover. They can't see you and they can't shoot you. From there, you can take pot shots without the risk of getting your ass handed to you. Okay, in your own time, Mr. Orange. And try not to get shot. Get him out! Ooh. Fuck it, you got me! Alright, I'm dead, okay? Fuck! That me dead. Okay, uh. I I'm dead! You got me! Kid, you should learn to listen to your elders. If you've got cover, kid, use it. I can't afford to let any one of you guys get shot. Okay, Mr. Orange, now you're gonna get to play the badass bank robber. And these wise guys will be playing the real people. I'm working the cashier's desk. I'm enjoying my 9 to 5 existence in the number one most dangerous clerical position covered by minimum wage. Okay, okay, I didn't ask for a running commentary. Mr. Orange, when entering a room, you want to grab everyone's attention and make sure they don't run for alarms. Now go and threaten the room. Let them know you don't want them to move. Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Everybody freeze! I'm yours, what do you want? Don't run! Nice work! You kept them all contained! Now we're gonna move to the principal target. The safe. Sometimes there's things you can't do on your own. But there's always a way through. Mr. Blue here is the manager. Please, don't take my bank's hard-earned money. Guys like him don't give a fuck about their job. Show him your guns, and you can pretty much get him to do anything. Order him over to the safe, motion with your pistol, and he'll soon move. Then get him to open it. Well done. You've got the money. You're a regular Al Capone. But that's only half the job done.
So you've got the loop, but the hardest part of any job is getting out and not getting caught. And this guy is gonna make sure that you don't. Security! Hold it right there, asshole! Now we got a situation, and it's all because of this five bucks an hour rent a Some genius has decided to give this piece of shit a gun. So what are you gonna do? Use the 9mm argument. That's real persuasion. If you listen to this guy, you'll be surrounded by bodies and cops. Personally, I would think about taking a hostage. Hands where I can see him shit. Okay, now you're in business. Now you can drop the damn gun. I've got a fam- That's right. The kid's got smarts. Thank you, Mr. Orange. You'll be elevated to crowd control duties in no time. Some dumb fucker set off the alarm and the cops are on their way. Freeze! Oh shit, my son is a filthy cop. Sorry, Daddy. They offered me a pension. <laughs> <laughs> now, cops are a bit different from your dime a dozen security guards. But if you've got a hostage, you can order the cops around just like anybody else. Can I just threaten him too? Well, these boys are trained to deal with pillars of the community such as ourselves. Thankfully, roughing up a hostage will encourage even a hard-ass cop to drop his weapon. Luckily for you, these guys are still rookies, wet behind the ears. And it won't take much persuasion. Freeze, motherfucker. Alright, you got me. Ah, screw fucking drop your fucking gun. As much as it pains me to see my own flesh and blood fail so spectacularly, you did good. So these chumps are weaponless and have nowhere to go. Unfortunately, if you don't keep your eye on them, they'll grab their guns and come looking for you. You know the deal, kid. Get them up against the wall. Face the wall. That should stop them coming after you. All you need to do now is watch out for reinforcements. Not a bad day's work, kid. Remember all that and the job will go like clockwork. Any fuck-ups, and I'll find you responsible. I'm hungry. Eddie, tidy this place up. Was that a fucking setup or what?